Hey tribe, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. Um, so this is the collective weekend message, all placements, all signs. I am uploading this a little bit earlier than usual because I will be on an energy retreat for the next couple of days, you guys. Um, so services will resume on the 26th of April. Okay. So from today through the 25th, I will not be available. Um, so that's why I'm doing the weekend reading early. And then for the weeklies, um, they will be uploaded a bit late as well. I typically upload them Sunday, Monday, but expect the weekly to be uploaded on Tuesday of next week. Okay. Um, you can definitely still, you know, message me, DM me, things of that nature, but I just will not be available for any personal readings, um, or doing any further uploads until next week. Okay. So, um, we have a card popping out here. It says, look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sagittarius. Sagittarius energy can be, um, significant for some of you guys, but I feel like for this weekend, um, either you are already looking at the bigger picture. That's what it feels like. It feels like you're looking at something from like a broader view or a different view. Um, maybe you were stuck in a situation. Maybe you were so close off or boxed into a, a specific something, but I feel like you're looking at things a lot differently now. It's almost like you have some like, um, newfound type of freedom here or some sort of expansion that's happening in your life this weekend, but I am going to put it back. Okay. So um, let's start with the songs that I got for the collective. So the first song was Heartbreak Anniversary by Giveon. Um, and I'm just like, really, is this the energy for the weekend? But I really feel as if this is the energy of someone in regards to you. I feel like someone is really going through it, um, in regards to like the loss of you, whether this was like an ending of a relationship or any other type of, um, like a friendship, any type of relationship dynamic. However, the song is geared towards, you know, um, romance, I believe, but you know, friends can break up too. So just take the message however you see fit, but um, yeah, for most of you guys, it is romance. Somebody is really going through it over you. And the thing is, I feel like this is like a distant lover. Like, I feel like this isn't necessarily like the freshest breakup, but somebody is still going through it, um, over some sort of separation with you. Okay. Maybe it's just, uh, the timing, maybe it's April, maybe, you know, April is very significant. Maybe that is the time frame that you split between, you know, you split from someone, you made some sort of separation, but that's what I'm picking up on. Um, the next song was Peru by Fireboy. And every time I hear that song it's a very live, it's a very free spirited type of song. Um, like a party song, you know, it's just about him kind of like having fun and not being locked down, not being committed, exploring his options type of energy. And I feel like that's exactly, you know, the energy that you guys are in um, this weekend. He also travels a lot or mentions like traveling a lot in that song. So you could be traveling this weekend or it's just like your mindset is on, you know, newer and better things traveling moving around not being locked down not being you know sad or depressed or you know just kind of doing your own thing so for a lot of you guys it kind of feels like the tables have turned so maybe you were with someone who was just very carefree in regards to you, you guys' relationship, regardless of the dynamic of the relationship. Um, maybe they were having all the fun. They were not committal, you know, whatever the case may be. And maybe you were heartbroken at some point in time, but it really feels like the tables have turned here. Um, and the next song I got was I Hate You by SZA. So I don't know why, but I'm picking up on what card is this? Okay, so it says you and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer. So that's confirmation for someone. Um, but I hate you by SZA. I'm picking up on like another individual. It feels like it's another energy. I mean, for some of you guys, it could just be the same person, you know, from, from the heartbreak uh, anniversary song to the I hate you by SZA. But a lot of you guys have two separate people in your energy. So it's like it's somebody who, you know, it's like really missing you, maybe feeling regretful or dwelling on the thought of you, okay, missing you heavy, um, really, you know, down and heartbroken. And then it's someone who 
probably misses you as well, but they express it a lot different. I'll just put it that way. Um, or somebody that, that's like angry with you. So you got two different people in your energies all while you're just kind of like in the middle living your best life. So we'll see how that plays out with the rest of the spread. If you haven't already, go ahead and like the video, comment, I comment back, share, and of course subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more push your energy into these messages and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. And if you are new here, drop a comment below. Let us know that you are a new subby. So let's see. What's going on, Spirit? Let's get a couple of cards from the Moonology deck. Okay, luck is on your side. This is also New Moon in Sagittarius. So it's a lot of Sagittarius energy is popping up here, a lot of fiery energy, um, a lot of temperance energy, because temperance, Sagittarius represented by the temperance card in the tarot. So balance, things coming to light, or things balancing out, or maybe just like feeling like yourself again, or getting your groove back. Okay, but if there is a, a situation where you're nervous about, I feel like things are going to work out for you guys this weekend with the luck being on your side. Spirit, what other messages do we have for the collective this weekend? It says it's time to release negativity. Okay, I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. Some of you guys are releasing a Scorpio, um, or this is something that you worked on releasing during this uh, the recent full moon we just had. And then you have worked through your fears. This is also Scorpio. So Scorpio Sag energy is popping up very heavily. Other messages for the collective this weekend, Spirit? What energy will they be experiencing? Any clarity, any confirmation, anything else that they need to know? All right, so it says nothing will come of this situation. All right, and at the bottom we have, it's time to take action. New moon and Aries. A lot of... Um, a lot of high energy, a lot of fiery energy, a lot of passionate energy. It feels like a lot of like go, go, go energy this weekend. Um, but yeah, you are definitely parting ways with something or you already, if this is something or someone you already, uh, parted ways with, I feel like this person, this situation is coming back around. Like somebody wants to resurface or take some sort of action towards you, um, or you this weekend are just realizing that something is just not for you and it's time for you to make the moves necessary to move around, to get up out that situation. So let's see what the energy deck has to say. Um, I will say as I was shuffling the tarot, okay, uh, the spellcasters deck, what popped out was the tower card, actually, that's Scorpio energy, the tower card and the judgment. Some sort of secrets could be coming to the surface or something that was just not known, not fully known, something that was secretive, okay, if it's not an actual Scorpio that's involved here. Um, because the tower card, that's what the Scorpio energy is. And then judgment, Aries, Taurus energy. Um, somebody is, something is really hitting hard. I don't think it's you. Okay. Collective. I feel like this is in regards, um, this is for someone in regards to you. Like something is really sinking in, it's hitting hard or it's hitting home or like a reality check or somebody is really like realizing that I don't know that something is over or that you're gone, but I feel like it's kind of been that way for a while. So somebody is just now feeling like the wrath of something or the effects of something, okay? We got the seven chakra at the bottom of the deck here. This is your crown chakra, all right? I feel like you're very much so at peace. There's some sort of knowledge that you have, clarity or closure that you have. Um, and it just feels like you're at peace with a situation or with this crown chakra, okay? Awareness, clarity, if there is some sort of um, something that just needs to be known here, some sort of secret, it's almost like something is just being divinely guide it to you for you to find out this weekend okay thinking man it could be about a libra gemini aquarius or a virgo it does not have to be okay um but this is also someone who is thinking about you whether it's a male or female whether you're a male or female someone is really thinking about the times with you but i feel like it's because you have um taken back your energy like they don't have access to you or you're very quiet maybe you block this person or something like that okay um, six chakra, magician, patience, and appreciation. It's like somebody, it just feels like somebody now knows that you are the right choice or you are the one for them, or somebody now sees things. Um, that could be what the look at the bigger picture was too. It's like someone now sees a situation, okay? Sun card could be a Leo or Virgo, um, but that's about illumination. They can see clearly now. Like I can see clearly now that the rain is gone or the storm is gone. Somebody can see your a perspective of, of a situation. They can see, you know, why you felt a certain type of way, why things went the way they did. They can see where they were wrong. But it feels like this is in a situation where somebody just refused to acknowledge it before. 
okay yeah but now they're coming in like this look at this man holding a heart with a heart on his sleeve this could be male or female this is you with a community card either it girl or it guy okay a lot of attention on you or somebody is really um Somebody this weekend is like really mesmerized by you, like admiring you, checking up on you, watching you like you are just they cannot stop thinking about you, looking at you, whether it's in person, social media, anything like that. Look at how these cards fell out here and wanted to make you an offer with this man holding a coin. OK, you could be dealing with a fire sign or earth sign. It could be any sign, but wanting to make you this offer. Somebody sees you as a prize this weekend. OK, wanted to make you an offer, but you're a little hesitant about this person. So it could be the fact that this is past energy and that's why you're holding back. OK, or it could be a newer energy. Um, Y'all got to let me know in the description, not in the description, in the comment section below. Let me know how this plays out for you. Um, this is for what the 22nd, um, Friday through Sunday, give or take a couple of days. So, uh, yeah, it's like somebody, and what did I say? The tables have turned. Now this person has their heart on their sleeve. Like they're ready to give, carve this own heart out of his leg to give to you. Right. But it's because I don't know. Now you have some sort of spotlight or maybe you have a glow up or you're doing better. Or again, I feel like you've always been this emperor, empress energy. You've always been the shit collective, but for whatever reason, this person was rejecting it, but now they see it, wanted to make you an offer, and now you're holding back. It's it's legit. The tables have turned here, okay? So let's see. And then we have adjacent possibilities. I feel like you got options. You got a lot of options, and not necessarily just like, you know, in love, um, but with this contract card, like just partnerships, business partnerships, a lot of doors are opening up for you, okay? A Libra could be significant storm warning okay we got storm warning then we have envy fifth chakra storm warning i feel like it's a lot of emotions like somebody's about to come in and um maybe confess something or somebody is very emotional okay somebody's going to be telling you how they um I feel I'm getting regrets or how they don't want to do something without you or how they want to rekindle things with this throat chakra. Then you have door to value and then you have strategy. Somebody wants to work something out here and show you some sort of appreciation. Like somebody doesn't like being in the dark with you. They don't like being in the cold with you collective. Okay. Let's see. Messages for the collective this weekend, Spirit. What is the energy they will be experiencing the collective for this weekend? This fifth chakra, somebody has something to say, okay? But let's see. It just feels like now all of a sudden somebody has so much to say, whereas when it was important for them to say it or to show up or to prove or to whatever, like they just didn't for whatever reasons. What else? The garden and the gate, okay? So let me see if they're actually coming through. Yep, action. <laughs> I wanted to I wanted to say, well, I said, let me see if they're actually coming through because this is communication, at least the want to communication. The garden and gate is holding back though. Like they're the only thing that's holding them back. This could definitely be you, okay, holding yourself back this weekend. Um, or maybe you've been holding back some sort of truth or clarity or standing up for yourself or whatever this is, okay, speaking something. Um, the garden and the gate holding yourself back, but then this is action. So either this is you in regards to something or someone. Or this is this person who has been, it's like they cannot, um, they feel the need to really just speak or to really just show up this weekend. Okay, to really just kind of, um, I don't know why I'm here, like put all their eggs in one basket to just really go for it. Yeah, somebody wants to heal something. You got the healer of the ages with the fifth chakra. The color blue could be very significant. We got the temple path here, the garden and the gate. Like somebody just knows. I, but the thing is, I feel like they knew. They knew all along that you were, you know, someone they were supposed to be in alignment with. Someone, um, no matter the dynamic of the relationship, someone that is, you know, a good person. Somebody that they were supposed to do right by, work with, whatever the case may be. Um, but they held themselves back. And then we have attachment card with the action card. The letter A could be significant for some of you guys. Um, but it's like they feel, it's like now they feel strongly attached to you, okay? And I don't know if you, if it just seems like you're just getting too far away or it's almost like somebody is, um, is panicking. Like it's a panic to speak to you, to stop you, to say this before you move on or to, if somebody feels very panicky or somebody's just really going through it, some sort of harsh judgment or, um, karma in regards to whatever happened between you guys in the past. And it does feel like it's more so distant past. 
at the bottom of the deck, we got the crown chakra still. So it's like, I'm hearing you, um, you learn better, you know better, you do better. I feel like you learn a lot of valuable lessons in regards to whatever the situation was for you. Okay. Same energy here again. Um, but also this is just you having some sort of power here. You having some sort of knowledge or you having some sort of power. Okay. Or you holding back. I just really feels like you're holding back and maybe not necessarily like you know, intentionally or maliciously, but you just redirected your energy on yourself or what brings you happiness and joy and things like that. And as a result, it's just like the absence is felt. It's really felt here, okay? So let's see. At the bottom of the deck, we got the sun card. Twice the sun card has popped out here. A lot of you guys could definitely either be or be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo, okay? But um, I feel like this is you. What did I say? The, the Peru song is you living your best life. Like you just chilling, you're just coasting. And it's that this is that Knight of Swords. So it could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius. It does not have to be. But this is someone just like that. Um, the throat chakra, somebody has something to say. It's like you're too happy or you're too far away or you're too distant or you're too okay with not talking to me or like somebody's just trying to come in and see what's up. Somebody definitely wants to know what's up, what's going on with the absence here. And they're coming from a hurt space, three of swords. Okay. So that's what heartbreak anniversary. Somebody is heartbroken now, but it kind, it really feels like this person is heartbroken because of the way you're treating them intentionally or not, right? But it's the exact same things that they did to you. It's the exact same energy, okay? I'm here and keep that same energy. It's the exact same energy. But now somebody is, it's like somebody is feeling it late, like nine months late, 11 months late. Like somebody's just late, okay, with it. Um, but yeah, three of swords and then you have the world card, two of pentacles, nine of wands, and the empress. I'm hearing the song, um gotta find my way back to you i can't think of the name of the artist but it's like somebody has to find their way back okay or somebody is just like i don't know somebody is just like rushing to come see you come to your home or just has all of this um just very like i don't know the communication like harsh communication okay and i feel like you're just chilling we got the two of wands here death card and scorpio okay scorpio again a cancer could be significant as well all right i feel like a lot of y'all are choosing to end something two of wands you were like you were indecisive but you decide to end it so maybe somebody is not willing to let you go if this is a fresh separation breakup cut off whatever it is um i feel like this person has words for you like they're not it's almost like not letting up on you like they're you're saying no but for them it's no such thing like they're not letting up they're desperately trying to hold on with this four of pentacles could be a taurus virgo capricorn okay we got the five of wands but it causes a lot of chaos and conflict so i feel like you realize that and you just um you just retreat or you just ghost the situation you just leave the situation this weekend okay spirit what are the messages the moon card okay cancer could be significant what are the messages that we have for the collective this weekend who or what is coming towards them any clarity confirmation any guidance any heads up for the collective energy okay all right so let's see so we have the three of wands, okay? This is that communication that's coming in. Somebody, that little bird there, somebody is either coming to see you or they're, they're finally hitting send on a text message, whatever the case may be. It could be a fire sign. It could be any sign with the three of wands, but it's coming. Could be coming from a cancer, okay? Or um, with this moon energy or something about the full moon energy um, has this, it's almost like the moon cycles are affecting this person. And I feel as if it affects us all, especially depending on how sensitive you are to energy energy um and things of that nature but this person um it's a lot of emotion that's coming through with this message here or there's some sort of communication whatever has been hidden and secretive with this moon energy it's like it's coming to light so either this person is you know being honest about something with you or you're hearing something about this person however it resonates for you five of wands yeah or somebody wants to explain why things were so chaotic okay uh why they put you in competition or i don't know somebody just wants to explain themselves is really what i'm picking up here 
Knight of Wands with the quickness. It's a lot of night energy, okay? Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands. This person was coming with is coming with a lot to say, with a lot of passion, or it could be like anger or rage or a mix of that. It's like I'm. It's giving like it's a thin line between love and hate, okay? Um, hence the, you know what? It's a thin line between love and hate. Hence the song. So, um, Heartbreak Anniversary by Giveon. That person is obvious. You know, he's obviously hurt. Like there's still love there. And then I hate you by SZA is like, I hate you. So I don't know. This person doesn't know how to feel. Somebody is really like emotional or mood swings or something like that in regards to you. Unless this is you collective. Okay. We have the hermit card with the moon card. Yeah. So the moon card is what was, you know, unclear secrets, fears, whatever this is that just, it just was. Okay. Um, the hermit energy is shining a light on it too. So a Virgo could also be significant here. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys feel this energy coming. What else, Spirit? The Empress. Yeah, and that's the thing. What did I say? I feel like you've always you've always been this Emperor, Emperor, uh, Emperor, Empress, excuse me, energy. Um, at least, you know, like with this person, you are already in this energy. And it's like, even though you were already, you can't get any better than the Empress or the Emperor. Even though you were already the prize. Five of Wands, they still felt like it was funny to have you in competition or compete with you or be difficult or be chaotic or argumentative or have options. Like they fumb they fumbled the Empress or they fumbled the Emperor. Okay, this is Libra Taurus energy showing up here as well. So I feel like a lot of you guys see this coming, okay, or you feel like this is coming or something. You just know something is coming full circle here with the moon, okay? Um, I feel like that full moon energy that we recently had is still kind of carrying over here. So you know what's coming, okay? Let's see. What was the uh, previous situation here? Nine of Wands. Yeah, something was just a battle. It was just hard and it didn't have to be hard, okay? Or this person put you through a lot with this Nine of Wands. Like this person put you through a lot, okay? Like you had to build yourself back up from this Nine of Wands energy. You are already the Empress with this person, okay? Whatever this person did to you, whatever happened between the two of you guys, brought you down to this Nine of Wands, battered a wounded warrior, okay? Um, it was a lot that was going on here. What's the come spirit? Two of Pentacles, okay? And I feel like the Two of Pentacles is this person contemplating. I'm getting, um, oh, is it Contemplate? I think it's just called Contemplate by Wale. Um, and he just talks about play this song while you contemplate. So basically, like, I don't know, somebody that was unsure about you and maybe you removed yourself, it ended, whatever, or somebody who wasn't loyal in whatever type of capacity. And it's like, now you're in your emperor, empress energy. And it's like, play this song while you contemplate. Like you left somebody where they were at. I'm getting all of those, keep that same energy, left them where they was at, like all of that type of energy. But somebody's contemplating on how to get back to you. Two of Pentacles is this message. Like it, it feels like somebody has like a message that they've typed up. And they've been wanting to hit sin for so long, but they haven't. Or maybe they've been writing you a letter and they haven't sent it. Or they've just been preparing, trying to prepare like the perfect um, message for you is really what it feels like collective. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the six of wands. So I feel like regardless, it's like you're good regardless, okay? Um, but also this is someone trying to give you a lot of praise, a lot of appreciation. Again, somebody who is almost like wanting to give you your flowers or give you credit where it was due. Okay, somebody the full card could be an Aries or it doesn't have to be. Okay, um, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Like somebody, you could have Earth in your chart, okay, or Fire in your chart, but someone here, it's like they had you, Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. Nine of Pentacles, but they weren't being truthful. Somebody made this really difficult. Five of Swords with communication, their feelings, their emotions, lies, okay? Um, a Leo could be significant, but I feel like regardless, you are good here, okay? I'm here, I'm good, love, and joy. It's like all of the all of these, um, you know, sayings and energies of just like you being okay with a decision, but somebody is not. Let's get one final message. One final message from the Divine Doors deck spirit for the collective for this weekend. Again, you guys, I will resume regular uh, readings and services, personals, and a weekly readings next week on Tuesday, okay? 
final messages for the collective this weekend i feel like y'all gonna get like a um forgive and forget type card here or like a moving on type card or something like that okay so we have patience all right and it says uh everything soon will come to light what do we say look at this first of all this is the darkness the hermit shines the light on the darkness. You can have Virgo on your chart, okay? But I feel like, or just very intuitive, I feel like you're you're figuring something out. I don't know if you're going to search for this. It's like you're finding out the missing piece, okay? Or you're finding out um, the lie or something. You're finding it out, okay? But everything soon will come to light, okay? Um, and then you will see things will be all right. All right. So, I mean, maybe it's some sort of positive clarity. Maybe it's something that's bringing you close closure. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be anything bad that you're figuring out, but maybe you're just finding out why somebody was so difficult, why something was so difficult, why somebody was so guarded. Okay. Maybe they're giving you the closure or something, or you're finding it out a different type of way. Um, but that's what I have for you guys for this weekend. So drop me a comment. Let me know how this is resonating for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.